is a, a, a worship experience or a gathering of like-minded people. We started it as in a group of people wanting to come together uh, that would not represent a typical congregation, that people who just wanted a, a different type of worship experience. We started off with five people, and the Lord has just grown within three years. We've grown to around 400 people on the average of every week. And the musicians are going to change into the musicians. This service is different because it's inviting to all types of people. Um, we have people that come from all sorts of walks of lives, all denominations. Um, we even have people that sometimes come from different faiths, you know, that are just seeking, and it's open to all of that. Uh, we always preach the Bible, always um, the truth, but we are open enough that people feel comfortable when they come. And also, we're contemporary, so it reaches a different audience than some of our other ch churches do. Why do I always feel negativity in my life? And you just go to backtrack just a little bit. And you'll see some of the things that you just recently put into your mind is so destructive. It's so destructive. I'm the uh, youth pastor for Sligo Church. And at NCF, I'm the teaching pastor. And also serve as the minister of music alongside of our musical team. Well, we, we put on concerts as one of, the, one of our biggest things. Um, we've had three major recording artists come to New Community Fellowship where we filled out this whole place. Um, and we do those at least twice a year. Um, and also we have just regular concerts for other people to come out to, local artists, um, which has been really great. And then on a weekly basis, there's always we always have preaching and teaching every Saturday at 6 o'clock. Um, myself and Pastor Terry are the two preachers that are preached consistently. But we always have guest speakers coming from different churches, um, different leaders from different uh, community-based groups, and um, it's just been a great, a great place for um, different speakers to come and just break the word of life. We have two classes that we offer quarterly. Uh, the first class is called About Us, and that's just a, uh, a general information class, our baptismal class uh, uh, of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And then we have a second class called About Him, where a person, if they've never met Christ before, they're able to take that class. And we normally suggest they start off with the About Him class, and then they take About Us, because we are unapologetic that we are proud Seventh-day Adventists, and um, this is an outreach ministry of the Sligo Seventh-day Adventist Church. And um, we've had probably more people join the Adventist Church in this area over the years by having a service that's uh, non-threatening, and then when they're ready to move to that next level, they make friends with us, they get to know us, and then they want to know about, well, you know, who sponsors this ministry? And then we're able to share the unique Adventist message with them. It's a different kind of church. We don't do um, traditional. So it's, um, we have different people from different ages and different races, and it's just wonderful. It's, kind of like a small heaven. I think uh, New Community Fellowship is just a great environment where you can just come as you are and you just you're basically you don't have to worry about you know rules or you don't have to worry about what, what they're going to tell you, what they're going to think about you. You just come just as you are from the community. I mean you can come from a basketball game or you can come um, you can come dressed up in a suit or you can come in jeans and shorts and you just come in and just fellowship and just uh, pray and, and enjoy the music and just, you know, raise your hands and just don't just relax and not worry about anything. As we always um, advertise to our Adventist churches, we are in the visitor all the time. Every time we have an event coming up, we are in the visitor and so we do um, advertise to our Adventist uh, population that is in this area. But also we, we've put up posters in the different community areas, maybe different stores. We've gone into our neighborhoods passing out postcards uh, just to the homes in our neighborhoods. And, so, and then a lot of it also, WGTS, uh, has been a big help to us in terms of they have a very large base. And so we're on there, our pastor's on there, making the announcements and inviting people to come out. And the point here that we want you to realize that this is a church within a church. And we have all kinds of activities going on. And we welcome your involvement. 
So if there's anybody here tonight that feels the urge, I'd like to get involved. Any one of these leaders up here can find a way for you to get involved in some aspect of, of worship or outreach, um, behind the scenes, all the different things that go on to make this uh, the program that it is. So the advice that I would give to a pastor who wants to start something up is to pray. It's so important that you listen to God's voice. And if this is what the Lord is calling you to do, he will bless it, he will grow it, and don't do this for any other reason. And I always joke and say, I would love to have my Friday, Saturday nights off again, uh, to be able to have a, you know, a Saturday night and to go out or whatever. But I am so convicted that this is what the Lord wants me to do, that I wouldn't be happy doing anything but this. And so if a minister does this just to uh, try to show that he can bring people in or whatever, it's gonna, they're going to get burnt out so fast, so fast. And so that's why I say it's so important if you do a ministry like this that you really feel called to the Lord to do it because he's going to give you the endurance. Uh, we've been doing this thing, um, like we said, for three years. Every Saturday night, I probably can count on both hands the number of Saturdays that I've missed. And I don't regret it at all because um, I just really feel I'm doing what the Lord is, has required or asked me to do.